What's up guys, and welcome back to another episode of Watch It In Action. I'm Bows Phoenix, and today we're going to be taking a look at Zephyr. Zephyr is essentially the bird frame in Warframe, and she uses air attacks to her advantage. She uses a lot of air, a lot of wind, and to great effect. So, this is kind of a unique build for me, in the fact that it's built around uh, some specific weaponry and tactics. Uh, you know, we use the Tonkor, you can use really any weapon you want, but... The Tonkor is very, very impressive with this build, and I'll show you the Tonkor build that I've got for this in a second, because it's kind of specific as well. But let's take a look at the Zephyr build real quick. What we're going to be doing here is we're going to be building around Zephyr's skill, uh, Turbulence, and we're going to need this augment here, Jetstream. And what this does is it increases the movement speed by 40% of Zephyr and her allies, and the important part here, the projectile speed. So any any weapons that aren't hit scan. So hit scan is a weapon like uh, the Soma Prime, where it fires bullets and it pretty much instantly hits a target. Uh, a non-hit scan weapon would be like the Tonkor, which we're going to use here in a second, or any bow. This weapon, this uh, this build is also really fun to use with bows too, because it basically makes them almost hit scan, which is really nice. So um, we got a little bit of power strength here. We've got a lot of duration. We've got a lot of efficiency. We don't have any uh, primed flow or flow or anything like that. In, no max to the ammo pool because we have so much efficiency. And these powers are, that we're going to be using that the build is built around are fairly cheap to cast. And we don't have to cast them very often because of this incredible duration here. So I am using Rejuvenation. Uh, you can throw on an extra Forma uh, to fit in like a Corrosive Projection or Energy Siphon. So that Dash Pull. Or you can change this to whatever polarity you want. If you want to fit on an Exilus mod, go ahead and Forma this Vitality. And that should give you enough points there to throw in, uh, a, you know, a 9 capacity one, like a Drift mod or something like that. To do one of the parkour ones, uh, you're going to need another Forma on top of that. So, you know, another 2 Forma, essentially. And basically what we're going to be doing here, we're going to check out the abilities real quick. And we're going to show you how this works. So, uh, real quick, Tailwind is a very good mobility skill. It allows Zephyr to pretty much fly. She has a passive where she has uh, less gravity. Gravity doesn't affect her as much as other frames, so she floats a little bit. And fun fact, it's basically because she's made out of Oxium, which is really lightweight, and that kind of gives her the capability to almost float. So this this will just throw you up into the air, or pretty much it'll blast you in any direction that your, your cursor is pointing. Really nice, and I'll show you how to use this effectively here in a second. Dive Bomb kind of combines with Tailwind. This is a, a weird ability in the fact that you can only use it while you're in the air. Uh, I think that's kind of cool, but basically how it works is you just, you, you nosedive into the ground, it creates an explosion. There's a really cool augment for this that drags enemies into the impact of that. Uh, we're not going to be using this too much because it just it doesn't really have any range with this build. You can change this build if you want to add a little bit more range. That's just player preference, essentially. Now, onto the kind of like, the, the crowning jewel of this build here, this is what the, the whole thing is built around. This is Turbulence, and basically what this does is it serves kind of two purposes. And it's a good it's a good tank ability, essentially. It gives us a little bit of survivability because it creates a windshield around us. And that windshield is going to increase our speed with the augment. It's going to deflect projectiles. And it's going to increase the projectile speed that we've got here. So, really cool ability. Um, you can actually put power range on this to and max it out. And it'll cover defense targets, essentially. So if you have any buddies that are, you know, around you or you're trying to defend a defense target or something like that, this will deflect fire from it if you're close enough, which is it's kind of cool. It gives it a little bit of utility. Tornado is kind of Zephyr's uh, ultimate here, and it's a pretty neat little crowd control ability. It has the added benefit of, you know, whenever you shoot the tornadoes, if you hit them with a certain element, it'll take on the properties of that element and do that type of damage. Pretty neat ability. Captures enemies, throws them around, keeps them sucked in, uh, makes them really easy to target. So this is a neat little, like, uh, I guess you would call it like an oh shit button or a panic button. You can kind of use this to get out of trouble if you really need to. Although with Turbulence and a Tonkor, you really shouldn't be having that much trouble, even at really high levels. So real quick, I want to take a look at the Tonkor build that I'm using right here. You're going to need one, one, um, one little mod here for sure, and that's Terminal Velocity. That increases your, your flight speed even further. Now what this does, normally when the Tonkor hits a surface... The projectiles are just going to bounce, and I'll show you how that works without turbulence real quick. So let's get some energy real fast, and I'll show you how this works. So this is this is the Tonkor without turbulence. They just bounce, and they have a really they have a really high you know they drop off a lot, like they they fall. They don't really fly very straight, so they're just gonna hit that wall and they're gonna bounce. Now let's try it with turbulence in this build that we've got here. So you're gonna cast that. It creates a little windshield around you, and then let's check this out now. They shoot almost straight, and they explode on impact. 
This is really nice when you're encountering groups of enemies, and I'll show you why. Let's spawn some let's spawn some really tough guys here. Let's do some corrupted gunners, because they're pretty strong. We're gonna spawn these guys and we're gonna jump right in. So you can fly up into the air. And this makes you almost like a dive bomber. Look at all that damage. The Tonkor is an amazing weapon in and of itself, but when you combine it with this capability, the ability to pretty much shoot straight with hardly any drop-off. And it explodes on impact. This makes it a really good crowd control, you know, capability here. Pretty awesome skill, so we just want to float up in the air, and as long as we have energy, we can pretty much keep casting this skill and continue to fly. The only problem is it gets really painful if you, uh, if your turbulence runs out. You just need to keep an eye on that duration. But at 46 seconds, I mean, that's that's pretty solid. That's a long time for, you know, a duration skill. But yeah, I mean, this this is a really simple build to play. Uh, it's it's the, the hardest part is getting all the pieces together for it. Uh, that's that's really the, the toughest thing you, you got going for you there. And then to show, showcase some of her other abilities, that's the uh, that's the dive bomb right there. You see that it doesn't really have any range at all. Um, kind of, you know, underwhelming, I guess, with this. And then the last thing I want to show you here real quick is the tornadoes and how you can use those. So let's say we're in a tight spot. we got a lot of these guys bearing down on us, and, you know, we're not having a whole lot of fun. We can cast tornadoes. And that'll pretty much just seek out enemies and suck them up into this vortex. And then you can just, you know, hit them at your leisure. They're kind of hard to hit because they're flying around all over the place, but if you have a Tonkor and they're close together, I mean, you're not really going to have a whole lot of problems. Notice how they turn green. I'm using Corrosive on this Tonkor. So you can actually shoot the Tornado to do damage. So if you can't actually hit the enemies and your Tonkor has enough blast radius, you can pretty much take those guys out. So, in a nutshell, this is Zephyr. Really simple build to play. Really hard to get all the pieces for. Those mods are, you know, getting all the Forma on the Tonkor, stuff like that. And then, uh, you know, getting all the all the mods for Zephyr and the Augment mod and stuff like that. She's harder to put together than she is to play, but as you saw, the results are really satisfying. And as I always say, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope maybe you learned something that you didn't already know. And I can't wait to see you at the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys.